Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am here with an all new game that was given to me and honestly guys, this reminds me a lot of Minecraft. The only difference is everybody and everything is made out of cardboard. <laughs> it's, this is cool as hell. Everything is literally made of cardboard. But anyway guys, I'm going to check this out because I think this is going to be an interesting game to try out. So let's go ahead and see if we can't start a single player here. But apparently you can host a dedicated server, you can play multiplayer, and of course you could just do a single player game. But we're going to go ahead and open this up. In this part we are going to be creating a character and you can either make it look like the character that you see here or you can come in and hand draw it. Now I'm not the best drawing with a mouse so I'm gonna give it an attempt here but I think I'm gonna keep it kinda simple just for this particular show here like I said I'm not very good with drawing with a mouse this is where a, some kind of a tablet would come in handy Alright, I'm going to try to get him another ear. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted to do. you got to draw like... Th yeah, this is pretty haphazard. But it, you know, it'll work. Now I'm going to give him some interesting eyes here. He's going to have big old eyes. Well, it's not really the way I wanted it to go, but that'll work, I guess. Well, let's give him... There we go. And we'll go ahead to the create that. It's good enough for now. Anyway, this is how you start off. And the thing is, guys, I've already started this, unfortunately. You cannot, once you start a game, at this point in time, you can't delete the old game. But I want to show you basically the moves that you have to take on here. When you first start off, you have to basically take these trees down with your fists just like this you have to get all the way across and once it connects the tree comes down then you pick up all the parts. You got some resin, some cherry wood. I don't know what the heck that is, but there's all kinds of creatures living in here, and most of them are dangerous. You need to collect as much wood as you can. You need to collect this stuff here. These are fibers in order to build your tools. As you can see, it automatically gets drawn to you. And I'm sure you definitely have to be able to see the similarities between this and Minecraft. Now these bushes you can get food from. 
and spring berries and plant matter. I'm not sure what all of those do just yet, but they all have a use at some point in time. Now the first thing that you can create, I've got to be careful because there are some things that can kill me here. If you go into your inventory, you have different crafting things that you can do. Now the first thing you're going to want to build, of course, would be a wooden axe. And you need a certain amount of wood, which I believe it's 8, and then you need 10 of the fiber. And I already created a wooden axe, so I'll let you take a look at that here. And just like you were able to do with your face, you can make the axe go with the default or you can make it look, it look the way you want it to. Now the gist of this whole thing is, is to collect as many of these materials as you can in much the same way as you do in Minecraft. And as you collect it to upgrade to different things. And you need to follow those little things on the right. If you see over there, one that says collect your rewards see what you need to do is follow those directions I wish I could show you step by step but unfortunately I can't start over the new game for some reason I don't know understand that at all but I'm gonna hit J and go ahead and collect my rewards here all right so what we need to do is we need to craft squire armor that was the next step the first ones I did was collect wood then collect fiber to bind objects together to get tools to eat some food to make a sword out of wood eat some meat meat and do a little landscaping with a wooden spade and then make a home now what you're hearing, guys, is one of the creatures that's nearby. We'll take a look, but we won't get too close. See, he's a giant turtle. Made of cardboard, of course. Now they're usually more or less harmless unless you get too close. Then they will attack you, and they can do some damage. Now over here we got us a crab. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my stone sword because this guy... I'm going to take out. you got to be careful. There's lots of things here that can kill you. Alright, we got some meat from that and some crab claws and the crab claws is used for enchanting the meat of course is for food and that we can always use now as you notice your health is increasing and it also will go up as you eat it's not exactly hard to get killed but some of the monsters here are powerful enough they can take you out pretty fast so just be wary do not mess with wolves or dire wolves especially. Dire wolves will kill you quick. So here we got some sand. Now I'm gonna pull this little tool here. It's a sickle. This allows you to collect the fibers faster. Now this one of course is just wooden. And it really just allows you to collect it faster. And just like in Minecraft, over time, these tools wear out. Now here you can see some different types of mineral deposits. That's where we're going to bring in our pickaxe here. Now right here is just sand. I'm not sure what all that can be used for, but I am curious as to what this is. I need a stronger pickaxe. What is that? Hmm, interesting. So apparently I need something stronger than stone. I'll have to keep that in mind. 
Well, let me go find some stone that we can actually harvest. Here's a good place over here. Oh, I'm hungry. Just pull this down into here. Select the button that you want to... And you can eat that meat. Strange thing is, you don't have to eat cook it. <laughs> I am hearing a lot of things moving around. It's really making me nervous. But anyway, this is how you do mining. Again, very similar to Minecraft. You pick the things up as they pop off. Now we're going to need a lot of stone because our first tools aside from wood like in Minecraft are made of stone. Now eventually we're going to start doing things like collecting iron and copper and stuff like that to make even stronger tools. But every time you're working you're going to get hungry so if you notice on the lower right hand corner that's your food register. I'm not that hungry right now but got to keep track of that. Now this was the first structure that I've built and my main quest at this point is to get it a roof but I wanted to put something together so that I can be safe especially when I quit so what we're going to do is get a little more wood I think I might have an actual stone axe yes I do the better the tool the faster it cuts stuff down It looks like these trees are going to be relatively easy to cut down. Let's get a... I think these are oak. There we go. Timber! Get another one. Yeah, it didn't take long for me to get hungry. Nice oak wood there. Ew. Ew. Rancid meat. Mm. Well, that's all I had. Oh, crab. He attacked first this time. Let me go ahead and eat that too. And I'm well nourished. Awesome. Alright, let's see if we can't figure out how to make this squire armor they're telling me about. Alright, this is what we're talking about. Squire armor. Wooden squire armor. Let's start with a helmet. Oh, we can make it look the way we want it too. Nice. All right, let's. I'm just going to do something a little strange. Let's get a, uh, some eye holes here.
That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and create that. I wish you could color them though. And we'll put this on our little face. There we go. Let's go ahead and create. Let's just stick with the default for this. Same with the legs and the arms. All right, looks like we've got it all together here. Let's go ahead and put that on my legs. Put that on my chest. And put those on my arms. There, now I've got A little bit better protection here. Alright, let's take a look at ourselves here. That's third person view. Here I am in my wooden armor. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I wish you could get a look from above, uh, in front of me. Apparently you can't. What is all that, making all that noise around me? That's creepy. All right, let's go back to first person. Well, it looks like I gotta get stone squire armor. I'm gonna take a look around here, guys, because there is a lot of movement around here, and I don't know if we got some monster issues or what the deal is. Uh-oh, yes we do. Something is hissing at me. What's hissing at me? <laughs> what is that? Oh my goodness, look at all the monsters. Uh oh, uh oh. Imp. Whew. I got coarse hide and rancid meat. Jeez. Yeah, I didn't much like him. Let's see, is there anything here I can eat other than that? Let's see, I think I've got some starberries here. I'd rather not eat the rancid meat if I can help it. Okay, I'm full. What is moving around me? It sounds like there's all kinds of things creeping about. Let's give me the heebie jeebies. This is why you have to have some kind of a structure, because these things are going to come get you. Now I think the imp can get in here if we have that, but we're going to go ahead and make a ceiling here real fast. Let's see, ceiling, and that is a nice thing about it. They do have the ability to search for them. Roof. Well, oh, not roof. Let's try ceiling. Yep, there we go. Wooden ceiling, pitch ceiling. Wooden fence, corner ceiling. Well, we're not going to get seriously fancy here at the moment. Let's craft a pitched. Let's see if we can't place that. A 
Ooh. That's not good. I can't. Yeah, I can. That's cool. All right, let's make some more. Craft. Can I do that again? Neat. Hey, it worked. I didn't think it would work that way. Let me see here. Let's not use a pitched one. Let's try using... One of those triangular ones. A sloped... Might need two of them. Well, that didn't work out quite the way I'd hoped. That is the funkiest looking home I've ever seen. <laughs> that is the ugliest building I think I've ever seen. I don't know if you can destroy it or not. Let me see here. If you make a mistake, can you fix it? Nope. Okay, I bet you anything though there is a tool for that. Stone hatchet. We got wooden arrows, we got bows we can make, we can make crossbows. Awesome. Nomad scout legs. What the hell does that take? Coarse leather, which we've got a little bit of, and thread, and compact stone. That is, this is so cool. There's so many things you can do. Yeah, that's a dumb looking building. <laughs> I'm sorry it is. It's dumb looking. Alright, let's go ahead and chop another tree down, get a little more wood. See if we can't make ourselves some of the other armor that they want us to make. Let's see if we can make a stone helmet now. I'm just going to go with the default, guys. It takes too darn long. I'm not saying that's what you need to do. I'm saying that's what I'm doing. Mainly for time. All right, let's go ahead and put these in its place. Let's see, where's the, here's the stone, and the helmet. Alright, let's take a look at that now. There we go. Place a simple bed, a spawn point, nice. That could be useful. Yeah, if you die right now, you just kind of appear randomly. Go 
Go ahead and eat some of those berries. That is the most ridiculous looking building I've ever seen. Anyway, <laughs> well, don't I don't have to worry about the embarrassment for long. After seven days of in-game wooden structures slowly decay, so over time it will disappear. So I'll just build me a new one. That's all right. And I don't know what all these gears and stuff are, but I wonder if there's any way to create some storage. That's something that I am curious about. Yeah, nothing about a box. Let's see. Box? No. I don't know. I don't know if you can store stuff or not. Be cool to find out. Alright, we need something better as far as weapons go, too. Let's see. Can we create... Can't create a stone bow yet. Probably because we need stone. That's easily taken care of. What the hell am I hearing? Let's give me the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, there's a bunch of holes that you can mine stuff out of. You gotta be careful of them, because like in Minecraft, these can contain monsters. Ah, here we go. This here is copper. You have to have at least a stone... pickaxe to be able to collect it. But you can eventually... Oh, it looks like I need to make a torch. Let's see, how do I do that? Let's craft that. Sounds like we got us a... Oh, I didn't get that stone. Oh, so that's how you create storage. You just drop it. That's nice. wonder how much of it you can collect. Alright, let's see what's down in here. Ooh. This looks scary. Apparently I'm extremely hungry. What is this? Whoa. Uh-oh. We got a thing. It is a monster. What the heck are you, you beastie? Another imp. Die, bastard. Ooh. Dull magic essence. Now what are these? This has got my curiosity up. Emeralds. Nice. Cool. Okay, now I got a problem though. How the hell do I get out of here? Ah. Uh, my Indiana Jonesing was taking over here. Let's see. Let me get out my pick. Maybe I can. Ah. Daylight. And we made it. That was a little scary, but we got a lot of minerals. 
<laughs> so that wasn't such a bad thing. Not bad at all. We also found out that there's some things that we can't mine without special tools. I have no idea what those tools are going to be, but must have to do with the minerals that we are collecting. Yeah, that th over there, that is a dire wolf. That we don't want to mess with. Bad juju. Oh, hey yourself. <laughs> hey. Yeah, we're going to head back to the seaside. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to see what we got food-wise, if we got anything. Shoot, all I've got is rancid meat. That's going to have to do for now. But let's see if we can't go ahead and make us a bed. Simple bed, simple large, let's just make a simple bed. And there we go, number seven. Night, night completed. Let there be light, place a wall torch. Well, can I put... Is a wall torch different than this kind of torch? Apparently so. So we need a torch. Alright, how about wall? Ah, here it is. We'll just create this. Let's create a couple of them. And we'll pull seven out. There we go. Awesome. So now we need to smelt copper ore using a furnace. This is so cool. <laughs> so we got ourselves our first little humble abode, which looks ridiculous, but it is functional. Got ourselves a bed, got torches going. This is pretty cool, guys. This is pretty darn cool. We got ourselves armored up. I think we are ready to rock and roll with this. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this first quick look. I wish I could have taken you from the very, very beginning, but I couldn't delete the game. I think it's an early access thing, so I'm not sure how you do it. Or I also tried to go on a separate server and do it that way, but they're having server issues right now, so couldn't get that to work either. But, oh well, it's early access. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that first look at this. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in maybe another episode if this works out. Anyway, guys, always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.